going on y'all this is obb the diecast news guy and welcome everybody to another new episode of what's in stores for you guys i think this is episode 39 as you can tell i'm in uh, some really weird attire just kidding i just got out of work like what like uh probably what like an hour ago or so and uh yeah we are gonna be on the hunt guys for some more nasca authentics i mean uh i have been on a tight budget these last few months uh since you know it's been like almost two months now since i've been to florida and yeah the budget is quite tight so when it comes to that guys getting the five dollar quality cars um here at target or in this case i'm actually behind a walmart right now um as you can see things are a little more different right now but um yeah um walmart's apparently and target i mean target's been the best place to go to get the newest wave but we're gonna be looking for wave six and nascar authentics 2021 aka probably the best wave from this uh year so far because that has like uh such good variety like uh especially i think the two that we absolutely are gonna have to get for sure are the austin hill united rentals truck and the daniel schwarz i fly uh car but also i'm gonna get you know tricks moody blue car which is the auto owner's scheme um but yeah i'm planning to get every single one of these cars if i can find them if they're outside of this walmart or if not maybe we'll go to target because that's been the best bet but um yeah, but like I said, I'm planning to get all these cars except for, uh, if I could find it, the Liquid Color Chase piece, uh, the Noah Greggs and Bass Pro car because I already got that from last year, and the Chase Alley Napa car because guess what? I already did a review of that thing. So anyways, we're going to be looking for the rest of these things as let's go and kill this new episode new episode of What's in Store, and uh, some guy hawked behind me. I guess he was trying to find his car. <laughs> find it later, asshole. Let's go and look at this new episode of What's in Stores.
Alrighty guys, we are back and uh, heck, we actually scored some luck at Walmart. We actually did. I mean, uh, heck, the last time I ever got lucky, uh, uh, we're all about to get lucky. Alright, don't want to sing that, Brian. But um, yeah, <laughs> uh, that was really stupid and embarrassing, Brian. But um, yeah, the last time I ever got lucky was uh, at Walmart, which uh, that's where I found uh, the Alex Bowman. Uh, the Alex Bowman car, which as you guys can see, there was two more, so that's pretty cool. No lid color though, but we were able to find uh, what like a, a good amount of this wave. I mean, the two that really that I really wanted, and I think the first three that I listed uh, at the intro of this video, um, they didn't have the Truex car, uh, the Chase Elliott Napa car, or the freaking Austin Hill and the Daniel Suarez cars, but. I will say that they had this bad boy right here. And I can't believe I got this for $5. I, as you can tell by the video when I was in stores, I was pretty damn excited. And don't even get me started on the abundance of Lumar window film cars. Yeah, it's a nice looking car, but seriously, that if, if you <laughs> know me quite well, those things suck. Anyways, let's look at the first one right here, which I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the best one because I got this thing for $5 and not the scalpers that are scalping this thing on eBay. $50, $60. Kyle Larson, guys. I got a Kyle Larson 2021 die cast. And I only paid for what the number, what what, what his number is. $5. So I'm a happy son, bitch. But Kyle Larson's number five, Nations uh, Nations Guard, not National Guard, Nations Guard, uh, Chevrolet Camaro ZL1, one of the lead for Henry Motorsports. Probably, uh, as you guys already know, he has been the, the, the pretty much dominant driver right now in NASCAR. This is a cool looking paint scheme. I know my good buddy Race Day 2011 already did a review on the 124 scale. And um, yeah, I mean, this thing is so freaking cool, man. I love the green. It's based on the HendrickCars.com scheme, uh, like the layout of it, but I just love the colors of this. Um, I think Corey LaJoy also drove a uh, Nation's Guard scheme as well, because I remember he drove that in um, New Hampshire, I believe. But uh, I, I believe I actually saw this thing. Uh, this beauty ran at Dover, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I could be wrong, because, um, but. Yeah, Larson, man, he's been the man of beats, and I'm so glad to finally get a die cast. And uh, I just had to wait, man. You know, when you if you guys really want a Kyle Larson die cast, just wait and take a chance. Don't be like these people. I mean, this should be my next rant review. These fucking scalpers, man. I tell you what. Oh my god. <sighs> these Kyle Larson cars, man. I, I I'm so thankful I got one, and hopefully you guys got lucky as I did because, heck. It's pretty damn sad to see to say that I finally found a Kyle Larson car because they've just been such a living bitch to find. Anyways, another Chevrolet driver that I'm gonna go ahead and talk. I'm show you guys as this is gonna be one of the uh, one of the um, probably only and probably the last car we're gonna get from this guy uh, with this team. This is Kurt Busch, man. Kurt Busch's gear wrench car. As you guys know, Kurt Busch, you know, did a fantastic job winning uh, the final good Atlanta race. I mean, who knows? Maybe next year will be good, but with the uh, with the new configuration they got. But, yeah, the gear wrench scheme. I didn't really think there was a paint, a paint scheme difference, but there is, man. There is. There's a lot more orange. The orange is actually bright and vibrant. There's not much of a gradient. And you know, you know me, man. I love my, uh, my gear wrench tools, and this scheme looks cool. I know my good buddy Ninja Chris. Uh, every time I review a Kurt Busch diecast, I always got to mention him because, heck, he is just not only a good friend and, a, uh, well, uh, yeah, a good friend, but also just probably the, the craziest Kurt Busch fan I know <laughs> that, is, that, that is out there. But looking forward to review this thing because this thing is just freaking beautiful. Love the Kurt Busch schemes. And to go along with that, we got to also finally look at um, this guy right here. This is the first cup. Uh, car for this guy because we, uh, we've had some trucks released for him before but we finally got a cup car for this guy the melon man ross Chastain, the clover oh uh, yeah feeling lucky now seeing this son bitch um although the last time i checked st patrick's day is kind of over but you know what i mean um yeah this paint scheme man i tell you what i mean uh, when, when i did my circle b die cast unboxing video a lot of people were like why did you get the ross Chastain car because i wanted to get it in authentics because man this green I tell you what, man, I was not a big fan of this paint scheme at first when the orange number and all that, I prefer the white number, but you know what, man, this scheme is really starting to grow on to me. I don't know. It just, it kind of works. It, it really does. I mean, the green is vibrant, the orange, the black. I mean, I still prefer Kyle Larson's uh, Clover card that he won at Dover, but um, we only got a winning seven scale of that thing. Um, this is cool, man. Really love the Clover scheme. Um, and we finally got one in the 164 scale. Um, Finally, <laughs> um, though, I, I think we did have like a Clover Larson car, but it was like blue, I think it was like Clover and first data. So, heck, it, it feels good to finally get a Clover car, um, especially since this wave has both Ganassi cars. As you guys know, Ganassi is no longer gonna be a thing after next year, so uh, oh, at the end of this year. So, 
All right, and the last car I'm going to show you guys. So I'm sorry this is a short video, but maybe I'll make a second part if I can find the other cars. Because uh, those other three, I definitely want to get the Truex Auto Owner Scheme. I mean, I, I think I'm a Truex fan, so I have to get it. <laughs> and the Austin Hill and Daniel Suarez cars. Um, well, Austin Hill truck, Daniel Suarez car. My point has been taken. Anyways, this is the die, another die cast as I already showed you guys right here. Uh, nice job for surprises, asshole. Bubba Wallace's 2021 DoorDash Toyota Camry 4 uh, 2311 Racing. Yeah, what a beautiful main scheme. I mean, you guys, uh, you guys, uh, I promised you guys during the show car review that we were going to get the DoorDash car. And yeah, we got it right here, guys. I mean, I was going to wait until we get the middle chassis version, but heck, man, I still love collecting my NASCAR Authentics, and I got to build that NASCAR Authentics wall. Uh, 2020, I have been slacking with that thing because I went to the Gold Series a lot, but I'm going full-blown back to the NASCAR Authentics cars, and this one looks really cool with the DoorDash scheme. And um, yeah, I mean, that's such a clean-looking main scheme, guys. I mean, it looks really nice. I love how the paint scheme works with the logos. Um, what a great-looking die-cast this is. And on the back right there, this is also uh, the liquid color chase piece. But well, of course, no me. I mean, there was one time I found a liquid color chase piece and it was a Bub Wallace car. So maybe I'll get lucky. But anyways, that's going to wrap up this What's in Stores video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, comment below which die case you want me to review first. I think I probably already know which one you guys want me to review. Um, maybe the Larson car. I, everybody loves Larson. Anyways, guys, this has been OBB, the diecast news guy. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys next time on another What's in Stores, as, heck, the next episode's gonna be 40, so, heck, this shit's getting pretty old, but I still love doing it, so, see you guys next time, and, uh, have a good night, everybody.